And we're live. Are we live? Are we live? Kevin said we're live just now, but are we I, live? I trust him. Back in the old days when Eric would say it, I wouldn't believe it. But now, with Kevin on the helm, I believe it. Hey, uh, hey guys. Uh, welcome, Mega64 and team. Um, not really uh, in the mood for uh, entertainment today. I'm going to be real. Uh, this is going to be a very difficult episode. Uh oh. Um, this show's only an hour, so this is probably all we're talking about today. I'll just get right to it. Um, get to it. Okay. Today we're mourning the loss of uh, something important to us in our community. Um, this is a place uh, not only did we uh, share creative connection with because we wrote many videos here, but we also shared family meals, friendly <clears throat> meals, you name it. Rest in peace, Sioux Plantation. <gasps> what? They just, they just announced today no the way. company is folding. Shut. Yeah. No. I'm not kidding. They're they're not coming back. Uh, some parts of the country know this uh, restaurant chain is uh, Sweet Tomatoes. This um, is a travesty. In some parts of the country, it's called that. Here, it's called Soup Plantation, and they just announced it's gone for good. Uh, I guess I I didn't realize they uh, they had already filed for bankruptcy once in 2016. And it ended up that they closed a bunch of their locations, but 97 of them stayed stayed around. Um, the one that we go to usually here in San Diego um, was always very busy, so that that yeah. there was no re there was no reason to close it. But uh, it's and for those who haven't been, it's uh, a buffet. How would you describe it? It is a buffet restaurant, but it's yeah. centered more about clean. It's more. Um, how it's would like you describe salads it? and soups. It's soups and salads. It's, it's buffet with soups and salads. It really, yeah, there really wasn't. Oh, it wasn't much in the way. They really didn't do meat or whatever. Typically, it was salad, soup, and then you know they might have like muffins and. It's a salad you know, bar. Yeah, yeah, it's, a, it's, with a, with it's a it's a big salad. It's, it's a great enough. great place to have a big ass salad. Um, you know that fucking staple. sucks. Legitimately, yeah. I am legitimately sad. But I. I was saying this, I did a little stream uh, a couple of days ago, and I thought, like, yeah. how do buffets move on past this? Yeah. I think that's part of why they went under, right, Rocco? Yep. Yeah, th it was basically, they looked at all of the things they would need to come back, you know, because buffets are under intense scrutiny right now. Like, yeah. okay, you're going to have to yeah. do this and this and this and this. And, the you know, I even, guard saw, ain't cut I, it. I even saw people talking about, you know, oh, why don't they have someone stationed at everything to hand out food? It's like, you're going to have to hire way more people. Anyway, they said in their thing, they said, yeah, we, we evaluated every option and we're just not sustainable enough to like make any of those changes. So we're just done. Damn it. That's it. I love Sue Plantation, but I feel like maybe buffets are a thing of the past. <laughs> Gentlemen, oh, what do you think? Sue Plantation is gone. Hometown yeah. Buffet yeah. is gone. Yeah. I think Derek, pizza buffet is gone. Yeah. I think you're right. I and truth be told, the only buffet I liked was Soup Plantation. That, Vegas, that's it. Though. What about it's Las over. Vegas? Listen, it's a staple there. There's nah. there's incredible. I think they're there, suffering too. There's legit good buffets in Vegas that have legit good food, but by and large, buffets to me are kind of known for stupid shitty food. Don't get me wrong, I love them, but you know it's always kind of like bullshit. Okay, whatever. It but it's Soup like, Plantation was like you could actually have a good meal. You'd have a you could make a nice ass salad. That's, that's you don't think so? Oh, love it's it. It's hard to fuck up lettuce. Like we no, go no, to a no, 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 buffet. No. They you, have a buffet you could make you a good salad. Buffet, the salad sucks. Oh yeah. Of course. Usually but, at a buffet, the salad is where you steer clear. Soup Plantation said, we're going to steer clear of everything else yeah. and get the salad bar right. So I will yeah. give them that. The salad bar was really good. I, I loved the different types of soup that they had. And I, ever since I was a kid, I would get, they'd make, they would have fresh blueberry muffins and fresh like chocolate chip muffins. And they had a very specific kind of, of honey butter. 
there. Yeah. Oh, the and, honey and butter. Honey, it's sweet and it's kind of salty too. And you put that on those muffins. That was my treat at the end of every time I ate there. And I'm talking for 20 plus years, I must have done that. Wow. And the fact the honey that honey butter's I, gone now. Dude, I went with Johnny. Are you there? Yeah. I think I, I took you there fairly recently. We were working late, yeah. right? And we went there. I made the worst fucking salad I've I ever remember made in you, my entire life. You, could, you were like, I wish I would have done this better. Yeah, I just, like, I assumed, like, I was like, I, well, I got to, like, get everything to get, like, the full soup plant, plantation, like, uh, uh, vibe. I have to get everything. And then by the end, I just had this fucking gigantic plate of spinach that I couldn't even eat. I yeah. like, didn't know what the fuck I was uh, doing with uh, it. Uh, you had to go through with, like, a tutorial. Somebody yeah, show you how to real. do it. Well, yeah. I, but that's... Who would have known that was, I mean, that was my last time there. Yeah. You oh, never know. Didn't you, know never, the time. you never know what your last time is wow. until it's, until it's over. That's why you, you're you like the treat. seniors who never got a prom, right? They just got yeah. sent home from school one day, never knowing that that was their senior year of high school. Yeah. And you got that salad thinking Sioux Plantation would be there for you, but. That salad for me them. was like my senior year. Yeah, I think you had it worse than the seniors, if I can be so bold and say that. I, I wish fucking I, I, think so. Mm. <laughs> Nobody likes school to begin with, and the senior year is overrated. But soup plantation yeah. is underrated, and yeah. everyone loves it. This is the complete True. opposite. I've been to prom. I've also been to soup plantation. I'd much rather go back to soup plantation. Uh, soup plantation is better. Real yeah. talk. I think I had a better time at soup plantation. <laughs> prom, all this hype. Super disappointing. Sea plantation, no hype at all. Better than you could ever imagine. <laughs> and prom was way more expensive. Yeah. So yeah, and, yeah. And if we're just yeah. if we're just comparing on a food to food level, for my prom, uh -huh. we ate at Buca de Beppo. Enough fucking said on that. Yeah. <laughs> Ew. Soup plantation. Would you like another fresh blueberry muffin? Yes, I would. Oh hell yeah! I'll and dance with that all night. For being, let's be really honest, Sioux Plantation is like a 90% success level of having sex afterwards. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Exactly. Prom, believe it or not, it's like yeah. negative 90%. So <laughs> you're going to, and there's no pressure. It's just like, yeah. you know, after Sioux Plantation, it's going to be easy to get laid. You know, yeah, have because to everyone's not bloated and feeling down. They feel right. like a nice, nice salad. Uh -huh. And, and it was energy. like, hey, that honey butter on my muffin. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Got me started thinking about something else. I'm a honey butter, your muffin, you know, kind mm -hmm. of thing. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, yeah. All girls so, loved. I'm gonna. I can reveal this now. The secret's out because I mean, what is? You know, normally you keep these things close to the chest, but now it doesn't matter. But you know, right. wi women love soup plantation. Mm -hmm. You can take them there. Hey, get what? Put whatever you want on the salad. Do you? Do you know what those words? It's on me. For it's a relationship. Morocco, Morocco, we shouldn't be saying this. I. Like, <laughs> They're out of business now, so fucking throw caution to the wind. You take a girl to plantation. Yeah. She sees all the fucking lettuce laid out, all the, oh, yeah. the croutons and the sauces, yeah. the fucking frozen yogurt, and you go, yeah. girl, it's a buffet. Have it's as a, much as you want. You oh, know, man. And, and I learned the trick from Sean, and this is the key, is then you're, uh, okay, we're ready to go. Let's leave. Wait a second. You go up, and they have the little sugar cones. Mm -hmm. Put the soft serve in it, and yeah. walk Ooh. out with it. And you and you look at her, and you go, "Yeah, that's for the road." And then you take a lick. This is my trick. I would take a lick, and I go, "You're not supposed to do that." Yeah. So then you're you're, you're kind of a bad boy. boy. Yeah. You're a bad boy. You, yeah. That's like that's that. like slapping a cop at that point. Like uh, that yeah, looks. I'm getting horny like, now. Just thinking about it. Oh, dude, yeah. That's right. That's awesome. You know dude. the the uh, here's yeah. another trick. You get Tell the me. soup Teach plantation me. clam chowder. Yeah. We're both, we're both eating the clam chowder. You're making chowder. Stare each sure. other in the eyes, right? Locked yeah. in. You put your spoon into her clam chowder and you go, let oh. me try it. Yeah. Mm, tastes good. Yeah. Then, then you go do the yogurt trick after that. Hell yeah. <laughs> you go, yeah, the clams are good. And, <laughs> and all you're like eating is salad. Punch. You're not eating all this gross shit. You're having a good salad and a solid muffin. 
That's right. And you're you're not all tired and feeling bad. You're uh-huh. eating vegan style and you're ready to bone. You might even get it started in the parking lot because you just can't wait to get home. Yeah. You, could buy, you could be like, girl, lay back. We take care of you. Yeah, we you're take so, care of you. Yeah, it's uh, in the words. Up. What's that? You're so fueled up. Yeah. You're like a runner ready to go run a marathon. You got all this energy now. You're like, <laughs> give me, you're like, give me fuel, give me fire, give me salad I desire. <laughs> you're ready. <laughs> yeah. The first time I said I love you to Ginny, this is real, was in a sea plantation parking lot. So Whoa. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> it's true though. And you know what? It brings out the best of all of us. <laughs> what well, else? Uh, what happened next? I, I don't want to go into too much detail, but you can imagine. Damn. Four kids. What's your kid's middle <laughs> yeah. name? Soup plantation. <laughs> <laughs> it was Joanne's Broccoli Madness. <laughs> Jones broccoli mat. Yeah, they- we were having broccoli madness that day. <laughs> anyway, the well. song. As the earth is carpet bombed by poisons, I keep it safe. I keep it clean. I keep it here inside with Mega 64 and T. I'm Joe Biden, and I approve this message. Kevin. Why did you pick that theme song? <laughs> well, why do, why did he do that? Seriously, it's like nails on a chalkboard. Are you fucking kidding me? All right, I, well, I hope you enjoyed that. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. So I really, hey, all jokes aside, I was really bummed about the soup plantation thing. I really that, was. It like, hurt oh, you, huh? I really can't ever eat there again. You know, it's not like I was going there every day, but I was just like. That's been around well, since I was a kid, hey, man. Hey, Rocco, really? there will be a day. It'll come back. One day. I don't know. Hometown Buffet is gone. Sweet yeah. Plantation is gone. Those are our... Every, we wrote said... so many classic videos at those two locations. We really did write a lot of stuff at at those buffets. We really true. did. Um, but yeah, Hometown Buffet was one that everyone kept telling me. They'll be back. Oh, they're, they can't be gone. They'll be back. Dude, they're not. They are Dunzo. gone. Yeah. Yeah, I, wonder, I really wonder if buffets are, are going by the wayside. I think, you know, there, there's there's kind of like fancy ass ones in Vegas where people like, you know, I mean, fancy for Vegas, you know, but but uh, that, you know, it's kind of part of the culture there. I see it staying there. But outside of that, yeah, I don't know. I kind of don't know. What else has been shuttered that's uh, like a business that went under because of this? I heard like jake crew is done but like who cares about, we don't care about that <laughs> yeah. is like the clothing jake yeah crew? yeah yeah the clothing uh, it's thing. not confirmed but man i've heard a lot of stuff that these theater chains are not coming back after this because like, i was uh, thinking malls were already on the way out yeah and how does the mall situation look now you know after yeah. this too i um, love going to malls me too same here yeah. You think malls are on the way out? I go to the mall yeah. and it's packed. I like going to the mall, but I honestly don't go as much as I used to. And I know that a lot of them are closing down across the country already because of low attendance. Mm. I mean, even slow. if you think about, like, you could go to the mall now, like this, that same mall in Oklahoma that we've always gone to. Mm. The stores there are all some shit one-off store that, like, there's no, like, real brand stores there anymore. Like, there's See, a couple, but... I like that. It's almost like local mom-and-pop businesses yeah, are now all in the mall now. Mall. Hey, let's talk about the coolest malls you've ever visited in your life. The height mm. of malls, I think, was yeah. in the 80s. I remember yeah. as a kid catching the tail end of the height of malls where... Every mall, like Parkway Plaza, had a banging arcade in it. I don't know if you remember that. Yeah. 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 The arcade at Parkway Plaza. They had a merry-go-round in there. They had, like, you know, carnival rides. Yeah. Which they they're not, they brought back 10 years ago, but then it's gone again. Yeah. Hmm. I was thinking about this just the other day, how I didn't have a transformative college experience in my life. You know, like a coming of age, going off to college and yeah. Like yeah. having all of that. But I got that same transformative period of my life in the way of working at a mall that I think oh, like yeah. other people that worked in malls can understand this yeah. uh, the way other people that went to college can identify with people living in that college environment. Like yeah, there, 
like you're not the the Van Wilder. Exactly what I was thinking. You're you're the Mall Rats. Exactly that. <laughs> I was thinking specifically. Well, it was it was like Kevin Smith. Uh, it was that May the Fourth. Do we lose him? God, this guy's really influenced my life in a way that I'm not aware of until I sit down and really think about it. But I think I saw mall rats and thought how fun it would. I know I've thought this, how fun it would yeah. be to work in a mall. And you know what? It was fucking fun to work in a mall. <laughs> I was, was, it was I all was... about eating girls that worked at other stores at the mall. <laughs> and it was like going off to college is like you experiment with life away from your parents for the first time. You get laid. You're learning about all these things. And in my 20s, I worked at a mall and I was experimenting with things in life, getting laid and oh, like shit. learning what? how to, uh, oh. you know, have a job for the first time where it's like college is training for, you know, the rest of your adult life. Working at the mall is like an alternative to college. Hear me out. <laughs> yeah. Save your money for the rest of your shitty adult life. I think that it gave me a great uh, experience that I look I look back on. And honestly, like you said, what's your favorite mall? I think it's Parkway Plaza because that's the mall I worked at. That's the mall that I was a mall rat at before that. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Um, that's interesting. And, and it's funny that you mentioned that because I was going to bring – you guys are talking about the effects of all the pandemic stuff on malls. That's literally what Kevin Smith said. He's writing Mall Rats 2 right now, which he's – I think – has he done that like eight times now? That's fucking yeah. bad. But he's writing it. He's doing the new revision on it right now so that they'll they'll finally make it. And he says it's about the effects of COVID-19 on on like Whoa. that's part of it. Like he's like I, he's like, man, I was already writing a script about malls dying, man. And now this it's you know, shit's getting sped up because now the virus, you can't even go there, man. So that's what it's going to be about, man. So, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Uh, I there's bet gonna they open be a weed store in that mall. That's <laughs> no, I don't think they'll no. reference weed in this one. Or oh. comics. No. Yeah, no, no comic talk. I don't think. Real talk. Okay, cinematic question. Mm -hmm. Should Kevin Smith keep writing movies? No. About like, <laughs> hear me out, Johnny. The question okay. not Johnny. Done. Please. <laughs> sorry. I grew up in New Jersey. I have strong feelings about him. Continue. Sorry. Yeah. If you're Kevin Smith, is it better to keep writing movies about like malls and people who work at malls and all that stuff that was successful for you a long time ago? Or should he branch out and do other stuff like when he did Red State and all that? He yeah. has branched out. It has sucked. Go ahead and make Mall Rats 2. It will yeah. probably suck. <laughs> That's pretty much and, how I feel. Yeah. And Johnny, you you're saying like that. No. Hope. no. Johnny's saying okay. that he's from New Jersey, so he has strong opinions about. Kevin Smith, I would go as far as say he's from New Jersey, so he has strong opinions about everything. So I mean, that's true. <laughs> well, what wow. what's Johnny's take? Uh, I mean, he, I already saw Yoga Hosers. I feel like oh. he should like not be writing any movie ever. Like, uh, <laughs> I don't know that dude. Well, but, has, is but you very know what? Fast as prime. Personally, I feel like he was doing a lot of crap, but. I liked Clerks 2 overall. Oh, I love Clerks 2. Yeah. yeah. And so I think like, yeah, I, if he's going to do a follow-up and it's kind of like long after the original and it's catching up with me, it seems like he's capable maybe, but I don't know. Uh, you know, that, that last Jay and Silent Bob movie that just came out, it was stupid just like the first one was fucking stupid. I don't like either of those, but the, it they did have heart moments in it and it's like, if you can nail that and not give us too much of the other shit, you might still have something, you know, but I don't know. Go ahead and make it. It's not going to affect, you know, like. <laughs> right. I didn't see Yoga Hosers. Uh, I think I, should, you I, like I watched for movie Husk, Club. but I blocked a lot of it out. <laughs> yeah. But uh, it, it was shot well. I mean, it looked cool. Yeah. Novel idea, I suppose. Kudos to making Tusk on an idea level. Oh, yeah. I hate that movie, too. You hate um, it? Yeah. <laughs> what do you hate about Tusk? What's so wrong with it? Uh, I think it starts off pretty interesting, like with just like the podcasting stuff, but then it just fucking takes a fucking turn and becomes unwatchable for me. Uh, I just think it, it's just idiotic. <laughs> like, I feel like it doesn't really go anywhere. It just kind of meanders. It's like a, a, a silly idea that is stretched out until like an hour and a half. 
Yeah. Nice. The ending is is beyond like a letdown of like I fucking wasted 2 hours for this. Yeah. I don't even remember. I may have turned it off. I'm trying to remember how the movie ends and it's like I either blocked it out or didn't make it that far. I could tell you how it ends if you want to know. Yeah, I really don't care. Okay. Who cares? <laughs> Let's move on. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I was uh oh, but going back to malls, going back to malls. Okay. My fa- my favorite mall it was my favorite when it opened. I was blown away by it, and it's still my favorite. I'm going Forum Shops, Las Vegas. Because oh, when Vegas. they opened that, it was like a mind blower. Like, whoa, that's the sky? Wait, it's not the sky. No, you're still inside. And it was really cool when they opened it because there was something kind of for everybody. They had, like, fancy stores. But then they had, like, a, like, the biggest fucking toy store. And Virgin Records had, like, their own, like... You could get all this video and music shit. Dude, and then I love that FAO Schwartz. Show. What's that? I fucking loved that FAO Schwartz. Yeah. Don't gloss that, over that. That was that awesome. That FAO Schwartz was awesome. I mean, it was overpriced there, but there was so much stuff to yeah. like check out and see. Uh, and it was in like a big Trojan horse. And uh, But then they had animatronic shows and different portions of it. And then kind of one day in one fell swoop, they ripped out any of that kind of stuff. And now it's just kind of like... Places I won't really probably buy anything, but they added a really great Apple store, so they're back on top. Oh, no, but <laughs> That's all overall, needs. I mean, I'm not the biggest mall guy, but that is still my favorite, I think, just because <laughs> it, it's so odd that I, I think I'm still gonna pick that. Any any other good mall? What other malls? Like, is it over? What? Oh, sorry, to no. break up. No, I heard you. It can't be over. I mean, some movie theater chains that were hurting, like I heard AMC was having problems uh, because of this thing. Like they made Shudder, but uh, other places would got to stay around. Yeah, I think. I don't know. I don't know. Just trying like, to open. Hey, does anybody else feel like these corporations are being really dramatic? I feel like every day it's like, Oh, we got twenty five billion dollars, but we're gonna we're gonna go out of business soon. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, like, some of them. I mean, some of them are okay. I, I think a- AMC and AMC went into this whole thing about blocking Universal movies from their theaters because they didn't like the trolls thing, and then Regal joined them. They what? said, "Yeah, we're not gonna play Universal movies either because of this." Oh, I didn't and, know that. Yeah, because they said, like, you got to respect the release window, and you didn't, and we're not going to play your shit. But, like, Universal, <laughs> I don't know if you saw their statement, but Universal had, like, the most, they fired back, I thought, the best way possible. Th- they didn't use any legalese or lawyer lawyer talk. They just fired back and said, yeah, well, well they basically, his... you, what's that? Oh, you you uh, have a second. We lost you there. They fired back the best way possible. They said, uh, yeah, a lot of kids are stuck at home right now, so we just put it out. I mean, that was it. They left it that simple. It was like... For hooking up kids yeah. with something to watch? Yeah, kid, kid, I mean, kids are stuck at home. We just wanted to show them the movie. That's brilliant. Also, like, I don't think... Fuck the theaters. Like, you're not making the movies. You're doing nothing but showing them. Yeah. Like, you're, you're not in the position that you think you were in. Yeah. The, you other think company, you're... Uh, the other company that was complaining that I saw was, like, United Airlines. And I feel like, again, it's like, people have been mad at you for a long time for, like, shady yeah. shit, too. So, I mean, I don't want you to go out of business, but I just, it's hard to sympathize with. I'm already mad at you for how shitty it's been. You And also, these companies that do anti-consumer shit every day are the first to yeah. fall. You know, yeah. Oh, we're gonna keep charging you for your bag. Oh, now we're gonna add. Oh, you you want to pick your seats? We're gonna add a charge for that. We're gonna. And then the second something goes wrong, they go. Oh, 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 remember us? Don't you reach out and help us? And and it's like, no, oh, fuck you guys. Are you kidding me? Like, no. Yeah, that's like, the whole thing. Is like all these you know bailouts of the big corporations that keeps the people keep talking about. It's like, no, yeah. you should have planned better. We <laughs> had to plan our business better. Yeah. Like, why? Why are you fine? You're a, you have billions of dollars. Fuck yeah. off. Yeah. Exactly. So, I think uh, the I think I mentioned this here before. I don't remember if I mentioned it on here before, but uh, I really think my prediction with the movie theaters is we're we're seeing how much they were on a thread. I think though, I think 
all the shit with AMC, Regal, all these companies, their whole business model relied on you buying Sour Patch Kids. I, yeah. I think 20 years from now, <laughs> that's going to seem insane. Like that's what they're, that's what they were waiting on. I think, it, I think in 20 years, they'll all be gone. I, all these rules where studios couldn't own their own theaters, all those rules are gradually expiring. And I think that's what's going to happen is you're going to go to a Disney theater to see a Disney movie and Universal oh, will play at this wow. chain. Well, and Warner that's Brothers one way to that. look at it. I but think that's going to happen. But also, I think Regal, AMC, all these theaters that are complaining about going out of business, they've made this shit too fucking complicated. Yes. What is a movie theater? It is a big dark room with a screen on a wall and a bunch of seats. Yep. There are so many independent movie theaters, even here in San Diego. Some of them fail because they can't compete with AMC and Regal. But if AMC and Regal go away, yeah. mom and pop movie theaters can pop up real easily. And yeah. I love those we places. We have a fucking movie theater. I set up a big room and a screen and license yeah. a movie from Universal. If AMC isn't around, I don't think that means movie theaters won't be around. I think that's a real no. easy business to set up. E either either it will be what you said or or the studios will fill in. Because again, there, there have been rules for decades about that they can't own their own uh that studios can't own their own theaters it was a monopoly thing or something but a lot of those have expired and haven't been replaced so that's not impossible but yeah either either it's them or an independent chain but i totally agree there's people saying well yeah amc oh wow amc and regal going under that's it for theaters i don't think theaters will ever go away because of what you said derek but also like you know, because a lot of people have said, like, dude, with digital, like, now there's no reason to go. I think people will always, people just need shit to do. That's mm -hmm. it. Well, and it's, and it's an experience. The whole yeah. theater thing is different. Yeah. yeah. And, and it's always, and it's the, it's the experience that asks the least of you. Is I could right now go, oh, you know what? Uh, Inception is playing in 10 minutes. I could get down there in time. I'll, yeah. You know what I mean? You're not booking it a month ahead. I mean, usually. And, uh. You know what I mean? It, it asks the least of you, and you can ask your friend, hey, you want to go? Yeah, and in 10 minutes, you're there, and it's an experience. I mean, that's not going to go like, away. You, the movie theater industry needs to be rebooted anyways. I want yeah, a movie yeah. theater that's like the Rainforest Cafe. Every 30 minutes, <laughs> the fucking animatronics start going off. I'm like on the <laughs> Universal Studios I'm back lot so tour. Hard. There's an earthquake happening in the concession uh, yeah. stand. Yeah, movie yeah. theaters are themed. This one's underwater. This one's on, this. A, on a space planet where you can watch Star Wars on yeah. Batu. <laughs> they kind yeah. of, they've kind of done that with a couple different. Uh, there's a type of theater. It's like Dolby something. I don't know what the thing is, but it projects on all sides. And so, like, I know people when they went to uh, when they went to see Aquaman, they actually project when they were underwater in the movie. They projected on the sides of the theater to where the theater was underwater. Like they digitally oh, wow. projected, like there was like fucking dolphins and shit swimming all around yeah. you. It was just like the 4D what? experience. What have yeah. you guys we ever done that? The 4DX? No. No. Oh, I have. Where you get the wet fart in your face? Yeah, <laughs> I saw Alien Covenant. In 40x, oh. and like the seats would move, and like what? it would rain in the movie. They drop like water on you, and like yeah. they would like, spit or like shit, shoot shit in your face. Y yeah, they I love that fucking movie because I saw it in 40x. That's about it. <laughs> it's, uh, it sounds like Johnny. the face would smell bad. Oh yeah. Oh, when stuff's on fire in the movie, you, you start to smell. Yeah. Oh. Shit. They, it was they, awesome. They did it. For it made a, you like a, a god awful movie. So oh, that's yeah. the power <laughs> of a new theater. 100%. They did it for uh, Avengers Endgame. But the thing is, is that movie is like three hours. So they said, I heard from a lot of people, they were like, yeah, not much hap. Like they didn't use a lot of the effects for, for a long time in the movie. So it was kind of like, okay, are they going to do something? But they said when they did like the final battle and stuff, that room, they filled it with like smoke. And like, they said it was like going off when they went to the, the last battle. So anyway, I wanted to check that out, but I, I never did. Yeah. But, uh, I honestly, you're right. Reboot the whole thing. I don't want to have to go to a movie and then watch 25 years worth long yeah. of trailers. Like, I don't no, want to do that anymore. I Totally. You're right. And I felt this. I had vibes that this was going to happen when we saw Star Wars. And, they, and we were there. And it's like, dude, it's been 30 minutes. These trailers are not over. It's been a half an hour. And Sean is looking at his watch like, Jesus Christ. Like, I have stuff to do later. Like. Hey, legitimately, 
I had to pick up my kids from school. I had yeah. like, oh, the movie starts at nine. Okay, well, they get out at twelve ten. That should be fine. Yeah. I did not enjoy that movie because I kept checking my watch. Like, am I gonna make it in time? Because the trailers were for yeah. forty five minutes. Am I gonna be late to get him from school? Yeah. Like, it's, and fuck that. And I could feel that in the moment. I thought to myself, I thought, this is one of those things where they pushed it to the utmost limit, and and the dam is about to break. Something yeah. because now with this attitude in the air, if one thing goes wrong with the theater experience, everyone's going to go, oh, yeah, no, I'm done. I'm, you know, just like cabs kept getting more expensive and more expensive and it's hard. Oh, and this and this and this and this and this and this. And then mm. the second Uber showed up, it was, well, you're so right because the trailer thing sucks. I don't like the whole choosing your seat system. Yeah, it's convenient that too. sometimes. I hate that. It's convenient sometimes, but sometimes you walk into an empty theater there's two fucking people in there you're like well i want to sit there and now i feel guilty because i picked a stupid seat yeah uh yeah. the it's so funny the picking seats in the theater thing it's so funny because when i went to the the movies in japan japan it's been that way forever and yeah. i thought it was great i was like dude i wish we did this because what was nice about it was I saw Evangelion in the theater there and I chose the seat and I didn't have to like wait before the theater and try to get a good seat. I showed up one minute before it started and I had the perfect seat. It was great. I was like, I love this. And in that what, Star Wars, you know, trailer situation, show up 45 minutes late, your seat is waiting for you. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, but when they brought it here, it's been the opposite. It's like, bro, we're, we're seeing Mary Poppins on a Tuesday night. I don't need to f fucking pick the seat. Like, uh, it's the line to get tickets and all that shit is taking 10 times longer. I just want to get the fucking ticket and walk in. Like I hate it. it. The the one time I like it here is opening night stuff. Like, you know, we went and saw Avengers or whatever. And it was like, okay, where do you want? It's like, okay, cool. I'll pick the seat. And now I don't have to worry about it. You know, on a packed thing, that was kind of nice, but on a regular night, fuck. Well, that. also like there's times where we're like, well, Rocco, are you going to get the tickets? Because we're not going to sit together unless you get all the tickets at once. Yeah. We'll pay you back. Yeah. Or, because before, back in the old days, it's like, I'll get my ticket, I'll find you in the theater, and I'll sit next to you at the end. Yeah. When, when when we all did a day together to see Rise of Skywalker, that's what it was. It was like, well, is, okay, uh, are we all going, but is Kevin, is Kevin bringing Rachel? Well, hold, I'm just going to book uh, 10. And, you know, it was just like a, it was like not a comfortable, you know, it was just like, I don't, if I don't, do, yeah, it was that. It was just that. It was like, if I don't do it all, is this gonna work? It, it's right. Fuck that. Um, and that was, you know, we were going on a weekday morning. It wasn't like it was packed or anything. We didn't need that, you know. Um, if you're going to midnight, I guess that's a different thing. But I don't. know. I have heard though that drive-in theaters are still operating and yeah. are doing very well. Yeah. So they've been kicking ass. I mean, because it, it makes sense. You're just in your car. And you're watching a movie and you use your radio. Like, it's a, it's a you know, archaic way to do it, but it doesn't really matter. We have a drive-in near us in good old Santee, California. It's been in the news lately. Yeah, Santee you, in the news for all the best reasons. I mean, yeah, it's always it's great. It's where the drive-in is. Yeah. You still do you drive in there? Have you guys ever been to that drive-in? I haven't Hot, been in a good, so like, many times. 10 years. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, I guess it's been a while for me. But uh, I i mean, I grew up going to that drive-in all the time. Yes. I went a lot, but it's been a long time. We should probably <laughs> start patronizing that business so they could stay open. I have yeah. a story about that drive-in. It's a little raunchy. It's a oh. high school story. Hell well, yeah. it's, not, it's, it's not really raunchy, so I could tell it. Can, but well, I wait, went there... Can can we do it? Can we have that be the preview and I'll, we'll do some plugs and then we'll get, and then we'll deliver? Yeah. Yeah. Is that cool? Okay, my boner's gonna go down, but okay. Yeah, oh, I also shit. gotta watch your story, so I'll make go this ahead. I'll make the I'll I'll make sure everyone stays horny during this plug. Okay, hold on. I'm trying to stay hard out here. Hey guys, shop.mega64.com is your place to go for all the best material you could ever ask for. That's right. You want some new apparel, you want some new threads to wear, you want a Blu-ray to watch from us, the funny boys. That's what that's what they call us here in San Diego. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh at my – this is a serious plug, uh, Kevin. Um, about it. That's right. Shop.mega64.com is the place to go. We are still – we have still 
pre-orders on the Neuro sweatshirt and the Charm shirt, uh, two of our hottest items ever. We're doing like one more little stint with those, and uh, it's going to be good. If you never got those, there's your chance. Um, all kinds of stuff on there. You're, you're just going to be blazed. Check out shop.mega64.com. If I hear one more laugh at my plugs, I'm gonna. There's gonna. I'm gonna kick. I'm gonna kick butts. Kevin. And patreoncom slash mega 64 We have a lot of exclusive stuff on there, including our new Mega64 Movie Club show coming up in just a moment. Stay tuned. But yeah. Anyway. Okay, that's Wait, all I wanted to say. Is that happening today? Uh, either today or tomorrow. Actually, it will. It will be up. Oh, so uh, you said everyone... just a moment. Stay tuned. It's like that means that sounds like it's coming out today. That could be right after this show. Stay, you know, keep keep your eyes peeled. Um, and uh, yeah. Oh, and 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 uh, yeah. Stay tuned. We got more stuff. We have all kinds of stuff coming out. We had a new video come out today too. But whatever. That's not important. What is important is what Derek is about to tell us. He's he said he's going to get nasty. Yeah. My boner oh, went down. Oh, really cool. uh, <laughs> <laughs> the drive-in. Uh, this story sucks. You really sucked the wind out of my sails. I'll be honest with you. I was oh, I'm sorry. ready to go, and uh, it's not going to be as good now. Went to the drive-in once with a female friend of mine who thought it would be funny to pretend, pretend to have sex at the drive-in. What? Oh, what a tease. Be because... She in her brand of comedy, in her, she's funny. She thought it would freak out everybody in the car around us. So I was like, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. I'm down. Let's pretend to do this. Which turned into basically like shaking, shaking the car, shaking the car and like posing on each other. And making like noises like we were having sex. I never had sex at that point in my life. <laughs> I, I was screaming things like, oh yeah, at the top of my lungs. And and when was the, this was last month or when was this? <laughs> this was like late 2016. Uh -oh. Okay. <laughs> what was the movie? Do you remember the movie? What was the movie? Kevin thinks he might have been there. Oh, shit. What was the fucking. <laughs> he saw a car moving, dude. It was deep impact. Yeah, no, yeah, it was a deep impact, Tomb Raider. I do not remember the movie. I don't remember the movie at all. It was always double features at that drive-in. Still is, still is. Yeah, I. Yeah. The last thing I saw there, I think, was the Laura Croft Curse of the Sun Temple or the second Angelina Jolie Lord, Tomb Raider movie. Yep. Uh, they made two of those, right? Yep. I have a story, not about me, but two friends of mine. Uh, actually, they're married now, but. Uh, they were dating in high school and they went to they went to the drive-in just to bang in the car the, so the real story of what they're saying oh yeah. but uh they didn't watch the movie at all and so when they got home the parents were quizzing them asking them how the two towers was for lord of the rings oh. and they had no answer they couldn't like give any details of what the movie was actually about uh like was google really a thing then i don't know it, kinda. Was, it was around dude yeah, I would have known. So they had to go back the next night to actually see it so they could answer the questions. <laughs> no. Stupid. It's stupid. That's Where a high school dumb movie? story. Um, I don't know. Ask me tomorrow night. It was I'm sexy. I'm tired tonight. <laughs> I'm to just going to go to bed. I'm just going to bed. <laughs> uh, uh, did wait, you guys Derek... ever sneak in there? What? No. Oh, you know, as a kid, I did. Yeah, I totally remember being in the trunk of someone's car. Yeah, so we could I did that. Sneak into that drive-through. <laughs> yeah, and you uh, drive around behind the bathrooms and get out real quick. Wait, so Derek. No so what else happened? That was it. You, you like? Uh, I mean, did you say like, let's like? Did you try to make it more realistic or anything? Or <laughs> she said I was bad at pretending to have sex. That she oh. didn't want to do it anymore. And no. The movie. We went and got nachos and the kids had to just watch the movie. She was oh. she was like, that was a test. I was uh oh. <laughs> I was the dead pretend fuck. Oh, that's the that's wow. I was a pretend Lame. dead fuck. Yeah. Oh man. That's how it goes, you know. Trial and error, right? Look yeah. at me now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's right. That's right.
yeah. Oh man, that's crazy. <sighs> um, that's life. Uh, do we we put out a video today? Do we want to talk about it? <laughs> we did. Yeah, I I never know. See, I never know what to do because it just came out today, so we could talk about it. But then it's like. That's kind of what we do on the Mega 64 podcast. So do we save it for that or do we just do it now because yeah. it came out today? You know what I mean? Well, I don't know. Let's do both. Let's talk about it two times. Sure. Well, we can we can talk about the side of it that was more tied to, if we're talking quarantine, we had, this video came out, yeah, Last of Us uh, 2, first review. Uh, and it has a scene where I went to the beach and just walked right into the water. <laughs> and I was surprised how many people are, or I, I kind of, I'm numb to it now. I, I didn't even think about it anymore, you know? And then it came out and people were like, what, what happened? There's so many people at the beach. What's going on? <laughs> um, so yeah. yeah, we, we experienced the, uh, what would you call that situation? The uh, well, real quick, I want to say, yeah, we're, we're not going to have any spoilers in this discussion because none of us looked at the spoilers, so we don't even know what the spoilers are. Yeah, please don't we, put any in the chat. We might but spoil our own video, but not Last of Us Two. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. But we did, um, we did do this thing. I was so happy with that ending. Um, oh yeah. Yeah, because it, I just thought it was really funny. And I remember as a kid, there was like this mythological story once where this woman walked into the ocean. She was so upset about something. She walked into the ocean yeah. and never was seen again. I've always wanted to like <laughs> use that. I thought yeah. it was so perfect in this video. Yeah. So but, we, oh, I, I was just going to say, we kind of pitched this video around and, and brainstormed it. And then Derek was like, okay, I'll kind of, I'll, I'll put it in kind of a script or an outline form. And then when we got it back, that was in there. Like Derek, Derek wrote that. It was just like he gets up and just walks forever, and eventually until the ocean, <laughs> eventually into the ocean where he just vanishes under the waves. <laughs> that yeah. was it. Was like it was like two okay. in the morning, and it was like, how do I end this video? Oh wait, yeah. it was just like a. I was so happy, but when yeah. we filmed it at the beach, it was really it was really packed with a lot of people, and they wouldn't let us park. In the parking lot, we had to park on a sidewalk and then walk in, which wasn't that difficult, right? Like, yeah, not that. We, yeah, we parked on the street and just, yeah, yeah, yeah. No That's problem fine. at all. And then as we're walking in, they have a PA system at the beach. I didn't even know they had a PA system at the beach. Yeah. But they're like announcing to everybody on the sand, like, the stay at home order is in effect. You know, uh, you're not allowed to be here on the beach. Ex yeah. Unless you are swimming, surfing, boogie boarding, exercising, jogging, or walking, but yeah. no standing still and yeah. no sitting. Yeah, uh, it yeah. was crap. It was the way they were wording it was really funny because there was someone there uh, talking over the thing that kept saying no sitting or standing, no sitting or standing, and I was like, what? Are, what are you supposed to do? What are you? <laughs> All they were trying to say was keep moving, but uh, yeah, the um. Yeah, it. I kind of feel like, though, it, I mean, I don't know, Derek, you tell me, because I didn't have my glasses on. I do feel like that shot in the video does make it seem maybe a little more packed than it was, because you're looking down the beach that way. But I don't know. Do you feel that way, or do you think, like, nah, it was really packed? Uh, it was not really packed, but they did funnel everybody into a little corridor on the beach yeah. so yeah. if you know if it's concerned about people being too close yeah then that's on the city because they closed down like 70 percent of the sand yeah they closed down the boardwalk so that was pretty much the only spot people could walk yeah so yeah we, we were filming like everybody in one shot but that was really like everybody on the beach was in that one spot yeah but nobody was Really, nobody was too close. Or I, I, I actually thought they were running it pretty good. Like yeah. they weren't. Yeah, they just weren't let pe letting people like 
huddle into like a picnic or or get too close. And if they were, they would break. All right, guys, break it up, break it up. I mean, but otherwise, it was we get a wide shot of the ocean. There's nobody in the shot. There's yeah. nobody on the sand. So they, they were just like, yeah, if you're here, you're here to exercise, like run around or walk around or or go boogie boarding. But don't like hang around. That's that's all it was. And I thought that was fine. I didn't I didn't think they uh, I mean, I, I think pretty much everyone got what they wanted out of the beach. Uh, and you know, we were standing around a couple times, but they didn't yell at us or anything. I mean, it was not, it was not that big of a deal. They just didn't want to have groups, you know, uh, getting too close to people and things. Yeah. Like that. They had a I lot of police good. there and a lot of lifeguards and they actually came up at one point and we were like, Oh, are they going to yell at us? But they were like, Hey, there's a riptide. So yeah. move down. So, uh, Hey, yeah. everybody should though. Rocco, I got to give you props. Everybody here on the podcast, give Rocco props. Everybody at home. Yeah. Rocco walked fearlessly into the red tide yeah, yeah. that's took it it, through it was it, it was red tide the water was like brown and smelled like shit and like isn't that like when it's full of like creatures and seaweed right yep yeah mm-hmm. yeah it smelled like fucking rotten eggs that's, it was like, that's the oh. last thing you'd I'm about to walk into the ocean. <laughs> Not like, only that, <laughs> but I heard it's like the most like dense red tide we've had in the last 20 years. Yeah. So it was like the real, it's real shit. Yeah, it now nice. there's still, Rocco and I were Googling it in the car. Like, is it safe to go into the red tide? And we settled yeah. on probably yes, but there is debate <laughs> out there. Yeah, well, the, yeah, the stuff that I read was um, it, it should be perfectly safe, but sometimes people get infected. It was like... What the fuck? Yeah, yeah usually no. perfectly safe. And Just sometimes people get infected. It's like, that's I, not what I, I wanted. Hate, I hate to say this, but I'm going to say it. After we filmed that, I was reading on Facebook and people were talking about yeah, the red tide has like neurotoxins in it. You shouldn't go in there. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. But oh, then gonna we turn saw... Into carnage. We saw like little kids boogie boarding in it. So yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I, I saw so many families and kids and I thought, you know what? You know what? What? Fuck it. You know, pain, uh, neuro, neuro, neurotoxins are temporary film is forever, you know? So I yeah. just did it. How did you feel afterwards? Anything? Itchy Fine. or anything? I, Fine. I was just like fucking, uh, I felt gross just because I, I, I didn't, the smell was bad and I was just like grimy kind of, I felt like. Wow. And, uh, well, it's always been from the beach. I had like, it was like the, it was the fucking saltiest it, the ocean has ever been. You've never know, like, I didn't want it to go in my mouth, but it did. Like, I got, you know, it got, I got taken away. So it was, gr it was just gross, whatever. That's hardcore, but you know what? That's dedication. It was a good video. It's a great yeah. video. I'm happy with it. I'm very, I'm happy, and people seem to enjoy it. I'm sorry. To some people, though, I'm sorry. There are, you know, some fuckheads in the comments. If you, if you, you know, if you don't want Last of Us Two spoiled, maybe, maybe shy away from the comments on that video. Uh, we're, we're trying to prune the idiots as much as we can, but anyway. But the video, if you haven't watched it yet, you're, uh, we, there's absolutely nothing about the new game in it. You know, that's just the title and what it's about. But nothing. Yeah, about we, it we it. don't, we had, we know no knowledge of the new game, so we couldn't spoil it, even if we tried. <laughs> so anyway um but yeah I had, a, I had a lot of fun uh making that and that was cool um yeah and okay so uh i am reading the comments mm. and one of them said that this video is better than what is per uh, currently being put out on television <laughs> which is such a huge compliment and is true and so uh kudos it, it really is kind of <laughs> yeah I'm not even afraid the to say it the quality of some of these like television live broadcasts that are all doing stuff like on Zoom or like concerts where the people are doing stuff from their kitchens or from their uh, bathrooms is like so low level. Yeah. Yeah. It amazes I'm me right. how, you know, everyone's like, oh, we're, we're getting through this. We're doing this at home. It's like, I don't know. Take the time off. <laughs> <laughs> Let yeah. the streamers who already are good at doing it keep doing it. And, like, yeah. I feel like it was a gimmick for the first three weeks. Like, okay, we'll give you a three. But now it's, like, we're pushing day 55 of this. Yeah. But you know what? 
I will tell you, on a set like that, you have your actor, your director, your cameraman, the guy who sets up the lights, the guy who gets the fucking costumes. Those are all different <laughs> people. And that room fills up really quickly. Yeah. But at Mega 64, we do all that stuff. Yeah. We're setting up the lights, setting up the camera, holding the boom mic, getting in front of the camera. We write, we're, it's all us. So yeah. we were able to film this video uh, with like two or three people in the room, max. Yeah. Maintaining distance. And I think that's uh, something maybe we have over, hey, I'm going to say HBO, NBC, <laughs> all those yeah. guys. We really, really, nothing we did was extreme. I mean, it was like either we were in separate rooms or or it was one person filming another from a fucking mile away. You know, it really, like, none of it was, yeah. yeah. We thought, we thought, we thought creatively. We thought smarter, not harder. There's only one shot where you guys are both on camera at the same time, and you can't tell from the thing, but you were still, like, the six feet away in that shot. So it was fine. <laughs> it was, yeah. Everything was fine. Yeah, really. I mean, honestly, it was really kind of like, yeah, that was that video concept allowed for that. So it worked out pretty yeah. good. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Good video. Check it out if you haven't seen it. We'll have more to say on Sunday, I'm sure. And we can even talk about Naughty Dog and Last of Us 2 properly. Yeah. yeah. We'll talk. We'll talk about that stuff. Um, there was. Uh, yeah, there, there's a whole bunch of stuff. There was a whole, like, debut of, like, Xbox game stuff today. Um, I don't know if you want to talk about that, but... Well, I do. I need to talk about it because, yeah. I, you know what? Why not Dirt 6? Yeah, why are they stopping at Dirt 5? Like, I thought we were going to see 5, 6, and 7. Yeah. Can I... Am I the only one who spent years and years dreaming of the day when Dirt 5 would be announced? <laughs> I no. busted my ass for four years being a Dirt fan. Yeah. <laughs> and now it's Dirt 5? Where's 6? Well, you know yeah. what, Garrett? You will talk about it. You will talk about Dirt 5 because you are no, on I'm a Mega gonna, 64 I won't podcast. Talk about and that's what you're hired to talk about Mega 64 content. I refuse. No, Dirt 5. Bring it up. Talk about it, Garrett. Go ahead. Tell me um, literally one thing dirt about Dirt coverage. 5, Garrett. <laughs> what? Is there... Hey, hey, Garrett. Yeah. Garrett. What? Wh what? What's the dirt? <laughs> the dirt on Dirt 5 is there's um, new wheels for the buggies. Is it is it dirt bikes or dune buggies? What kind of I dirt are we? No, no one knows. Fuck. Not one. This is the fifth one. No one's ever heard of the first four. No, I heard about dirt. We talked about it. I got an automatic. Yeah. There's uh, an older. There's an older podcast where Garrett was talking about like I like he was gonna buy dirt and then later buy spit or something like that. Like dirt or haze or rash or some shit. <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about? Rash. We made some joke about that a million years ago. Oh, um, well, it's gone. We can talk more about the Xbox shit. I wanna. I wanna like round all that up and see. Have get some thoughts. Well, maybe we could talk about that more on Sunday. But um. In more pertaining to the theme on this show, we brought up malls earlier, and uh, I do want to bring up that th this news just broke before we went live. But, uh, well, actually, I should back that up. The other day, Disney announced, all right, Shanghai Disneyland, we're going to start opening that up. Oh. And it was pretty much what I said before, where it's like, Okay, they're going to, you know, you have to pick what day you want to go. It's going to be 30% capacity, no higher than that. Uh, meaning it's probably going to be hard to get a ticket. To but first. if you do, it's fucking sick. Yeah, but if you do, it's going to be like unreal. <laughs> um, so that um, virtual queues for attractions. So it's like you're not waiting in line. It's like, yo, at 215, come to this ride and we'll let you on. Okay, great. Um, and then anywhere you do have to wait in a certain space, they mark off, they've got six foot, you know, squares on the ground and they're cl cleaning everything in between, whatever. So that's pretty much kind of what I thought it was going to be. I don't think there was too many surprises there. They're, they've got, they've got like a whole plan, whatever. And I guess China is kind of ahead on the, all that kind of stuff, whatever with, uh, the closures and things like that. So Anyway, they announced that the other day, but just before the podcast today, they announced Disney Springs in Florida, which is 
in Disney World, that's their downtown Disney. Like, that's their shopping district outside the park. Uh, that is going to start phase, phased openings on May 20th. Um, cause they're, they're, all these States are doing phases of what they're going to open. You know, it's okay. Restaurants are okay at a certain capacity store, you know, okay. Now clothing stores that's happening here in California, but I think Florida, I don't even know what they're doing, but anyway, so that's going to open May 20th. So that's kind of the first thing we've heard in, in that way from the, the American parks. So I wonder if they're just doing that because it's like, well, yeah, stores are opening back up. That's stores. Or if we're going to see theme park stuff here earlier than we thought, or if that's not still going to be until like next year. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know what to expect, kind of. I don't know. Yeah, I heard today that they're saying if sports happen at all this year and this is any sport, like there will be no fans. Like for yeah. the year, that's what they're just saying. So yeah. I don't know if that's true, but that's what they're doing in South Korea. Baseball is starting with no fans. Yeah, yeah, and they're broadcasting it here, right, Sean? They are. They're brought on ESPN because would you watch nothing that? Else. Uh, I I think I would, but uh, honestly, it's at like two in the morning, so that's kind <laughs> of the downside. But it's um. I will give credit to ESPN. It is always fascinating to see what they have pulled out to show. Like they straight up made ESPN the Ocho, which is a dodgeball joke, but they <laughs> made for like a week and this show a lot of more racing and stuff like that from like way back in the day. So it's been like weird shit. It's been kind of entertaining. That's but, cool. But uh, yeah, whatever. The Disney thing, do you think it'll follow suit like China's first, then we'll see Japan, France? Yeah, and then Florida. I, think, I think those will open before our I think I think it'll be those and then Florida then and I think California's last. last I think California's right. gonna resist that until Yeah. Hey, end. did we ever get a follow up to when all of this first started? Disney World had like a one last hurrah event with yeah. thousands of people packed in the park. There was never any follow up to that. I'm Googling it, trying yeah. to find any uh whisper about that event it's been purged from the internet yeah who knows uh, has anybody heard anything about that no i mean people just saying like what the fuck are you doing but yeah their I mean, pr team wiped it from existence it really did. Probably did um what i was gonna say though was with that with that kind of park operation stuff with theme park stuff you know whatever my feeling right now is, and this is kind of assessing the situation. This is my feeling. It, Disney is too big to allow for, a, I, I feel like Disney is not going to allow some huge fiasco. Uh, you know, now that we have all the information and stuff like that, if they said like, okay, we're going to open Disneyland back up, but all those precautions that they mentioned, like for Shanghai and all that, are going to be there and oh oh and masks are required that was the other part of it is masks Whoa. are required um if they laid all that out here i think i would be down i mean i i think um i'm not so much worried about catching it for myself i don't want to spread it obviously um you know whatever but uh everything that they detailed i thought yeah if it's really if the park is only at quarter capacity and you're doing all this other stuff that doesn't sound too dangerous to me. I, I I think I would be open to that. The problem is all of these sites with these articles, on any of them, ever, l go look at the comment section. Oh, shit. It is always the same person, and I hate to generalize. I hate to generalize. I already know what you're going to say. This is the problem that we've had this whole time. <sighs> It's, it's fuckos ruin it for everybody. It's, it's, Say it's, it. old, it's old white people. Mm -hmm. it, I, I mm. thought you were going to go with Karens. Specific, well, mostly, <laughs> but, but the, yeah. the Karen prototype, yes. Uh, it's the same, I swear it's the same older woman every time saying, saying this. I'm sorry, but if you um, if you require masks, that will ruin the magic. And you know what? I won't go. And every time the responses are okay. Yeah, it's like cool. Like like 
No, no one has responded to that with, oh, no, well, you won't go? Oh, no, we wouldn't want to ruin it for you. I mean, every single time, it's, okay. All right, cool. Less <laughs> people want to go. Cool. Great. You know, it's like every time I just, you know what? I'm sorry. If you want me to wear a mask, I, just, I will not be attending because that will ruin the magic. Okay. My you doctor know, said uh, I, I need don't... cold soda in, in, <laughs> yeah, exactly. in the morning to get my day started. <laughs> yeah. I have to have ice cold soda, and the vending machines in... have none. I can't. How am I going to drink my cold soda you if I can't wear a mask? The who uh, cut a hole in her face mask to breathe better? Oh, I love that footage. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Yeah, <laughs> just look so it up. It's, it's, it's right here. Just yeah. hole in the I mask. I saw that. Are I mean, really here? here uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, I, th I said this before. I'm going to say it again. News articles and news sites should never allow comments. I don't care what anyone has to say, go to my Twitter to hear my comment on this news article. If you really, if you really want to hear it, yeah. but I don't want to look at the fucking thing on like CNN and go scroll below and see comments of like bullshit. Like yeah. that's not the point of this. I don't need to hear your voice. Just tell me the news and I'll, I'll voice it wherever yeah. I want to. Um, I, I, I don't know. I might disagree. I love looking through those comments, man. Cause I'm just, uh, man, what a, I'm a masochist. So yeah, yeah no, it's a dumpster don't... pile. <laughs> Yeah, but, my enemy. <laughs> but you know, my parents are even kind of in the in the phase of like, I don't care about. Uh, I'm not gonna get it. I don't get. Uh. But even my mom was like, she's my mom is like, I don't, I don't give a shit about. I'm not gonna catch. I don't know. But she's like, but if it makes people feel better, oh, if if everyone at if if everyone there is gonna feel better that I'm covered up. Uh, but I'm going to do it. And it's like, yeah, that's it. That's all it takes is, is just like, that's the compromise. You know, maybe, Hey, maybe the thing is worse than we thought. Maybe it's better, but let's wear the mask and like, let's that we'll meet in the middle and, and make people feel better. Yeah. Who, you know, it's like, who cares? Like, There's and also I, I think it'd be kind of fun to wear a mask at Disney. Like, remember the time we went to Disneyland, there was no one there and we were in masks. That's a memory to me. I don't know. Anyway, what were you going to say? There is this book they make you read in high school. The Great Gatsby. Yeah. Daisy drives in it. And she's always running stop signs. And the dude's like, why, why the fuck do you run stop signs? Doesn't that seem like a bad idea? And her response is basically like, well, it's only a bad idea if I meet another driver that runs stop signs. Because <laughs> the mentality is like, well, you're stopping, so I'm going to keep going. And I yeah. feel like that's the mentality with that mask. It's like, yeah. just, we all have to do it. it yeah. Don't, we, it's forever. It only works if we all just, it's easy. Just yeah. everybody do it and then problem but, solved. And again, Which means that won't happen. Difficult. Stop making this more difficult than it needs to be. Yeah. And, and, and at the end of the day, it really, it's just like to make everyone there feel better. And like, when you're at Disney, a place like Disneyland too, don't you feel like, don't you want to make that as nice of a thing for everyone as you can? Like you see, you see all kinds of families and kids and adults. You see all walks of life there. Don't you want to? If you could just do one thing that everyone feels better, wouldn't you do it? To to have that be your yeah. place. Or I'm I'm not. Well, look at me. I'm not. Wow. Yeah. Hey, cool. what a hill to die on, right? Yeah. And exactly. Of all That's things, exactly to take a I stand. Feel. It's like you're not making the world better at all. You, everyone to see that you're a fucking asshole yeah. and i'm seeing people like even in the chat now saying like oh what if you can't get a mask hey everyone has masks yeah you you can, can get them one. online from millions of different places yeah. and your friends that have masks have a second one that they could give you oh what There's if people... i can't get a mask i can't go to the fucking <laughs> store and buy a fucking piece of paper to put over my mouth honestly i'm ready to go to disneyland dude, people, i'm gonna go through the whole yeah. process of doing this disneyland shit tie a t-shirt on your face my mouth is too complicated for me <laughs> yeah, there's alternatives. There's like no excuse. Yet I see that like I had to go to a bunch of auto parts stores because I had some problem with my truck this week. And there's always one dude who's like not with the program. Yeah. And it's like, I don't know, man. Everyone else is just taking care of business. But you're like, uh, you're, yeah. you either don't believe this is real and you want to show us all yeah. or I don't know Every what it is. Too cool. Everywhere I've been, mostly everywhere I've been. There's always like one person trying to do a macho move. Like, <laughs> yeah. And it's like, wow, well, yeah, you're impressive. You're really, yeah, that's cool, man. Yeah. Wow, you didn't wear one. That's cool. Um, 
I went into a uh, I went to a liquor store all masked up, and I think the guy thought I was planning on robbing him. Huh. I've been See, worried that's about the only that. thing that sucks. There's still like some stigma. With well, that, Garrett, you know? you're. You're not dark brown, so I I no, but I have been wor- not about me, <laughs> but I have been worried about people who get uncomfortable going in, you know, to a business all fucking masked up, a la yeah. your look. I basically right now, went Derek. in looking like this, and I had glasses on too. Oh, <laughs> and and I had the other mask underneath, and I had gloves on. This was when I was like taking no chances. I was Dude, so masked up. You get and shot. I'm like, I'm going through trying to get something, and uh, the guy behind the counter is talking to this other dude, and out of nowhere, I hear him go, he had one of those plastic face masks on. He's like, you like my mask? It's bulletproof. And I'm what? listening to him being like, that's a weird conversation. He's like, <laughs> what bulletproof, the huh? And then the, the dude just starts, like, casually going off about all the security measures he has in the in the Oh, my store. God. Whoa. <laughs> you scared There's, like, him, three dude. people in there, and I'm like, I think I just spooked this dude. And he's trying to let me know, like, he's on guard. Um, that's the impression that I got. Who knows? Hey, I, I, I said this the other day, or last week, whenever, but... They started requiring masks in California at the same time I my pre-order shipped for my Boba Fett helmet. And I thought, that's too that's that's providence right there. So and I started to really think, like, is that my is that gonna be my face mask now? Maybe hey, maybe I'm willing, maybe I'm willing, yeah. you know, to dude wear that to the- grocery stores in Santee and then yeah. ba- out, you know, balance the the shit that happened there. Balance makes me the cool force. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, I don't think I'm going to shop there. But, oh, <laughs> but someone, there was a popular thread on Reddit where someone took a picture at Walmart of a guy paying for his stuff and he got the Boba Fett helmet. I'm telling you, he has like the same body type as me. It's like <laughs> this, bi- this, fuck, this bigger dude at the register paying and he's got that helmet on. I'm like, this fucker took my idea. Well, just say it was you. Yeah. No, I believe he's, it. He's not really that stylish, you know. He's like, you know, oh, like shorts he wasn't wearing shit. like a socks. He, I saw socks. his socks, and they were just no, white. he's in like flip flops or something. Uh, no, no, no. You no, wouldn't do friend. that, never. never. Johnny, say some. Talk about something. Uh, me and Johnny and played played you... worms the other day. That was fun. Yeah. You guys have worms? What? We played Ew. worms the other day. That was a good time. Oh, nice. That's yeah. how do you play? You play together? Who streamed? Oh, I did. Johnny okay, and w- was Derek uh, like there as a multiplayer, like second player? Yeah, he fucking kicked my ass. We played <laughs> Worms like uh, at, like an hour later, just like by ourselves, and I got like disrespected by the end. <laughs> like I had one worm left. He came over with a baseball bat. I was yeah, and crazy. Derek's a shit talker too. He I like Worms. He no, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't oh, that bad. I was hell. I was training Johnny to get better. See, I like playing multiplayer games with you, though, because you are my one friend that is a shit talker, and it thickens my skin. Oh, really? That's essential. You gotta talk shit. Yeah. yeah. Well, otherwise, if someone does talk shit, and you're in, a, like, a tournament situation, it fucking crushes you, because you never encountered it before. <laughs> you gotta train with someone. Training. Yeah, mental training, too. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, check that out. I think we should play Worms on Friend Dimension. It's really fun. Yeah, that was really fun. There's a lot of stuff I want to play on Friend Dimension, especially once it gets a little more back to normal. I uh, yeah. I really want to play that Streets of Rage with somebody. And Oh, yeah. Um, Dude, we played that on the PPS last <laughs> night. Brian brought it over. Yeah. That was so fun. I, I yeah. was really impressed with, like, the, the, the throwback aspect of it being, like, so similar to the original game, but all brand new and shiny. And ha- having so many, like, extras and modes to unlock and stuff, too, was really cool. Well, hey... I want to play that, but in the same genre, just came out today, and we're going to bookend this whole show. What? Mulrats game came out today. What or, or, the? Or, what? Or no, what's it called? Jay, I think it has a name like Jane Silent Bob beat him up or something like that. But what the fuck? It's basically a Mulrats game that would have come out back then. It's NES style. It is an NES game. Oh, my God. Well, uh, it's the opening Switch. of Mulrats... Is it the opening of Mallrats, uh, the character playing hockey, NHL 94 or something on Genesis? Yeah. 
with that Comedy Central neon sign. That came out there. today. It came out today, and it's eight bit. It's an it's an NES game, but you're Jay and Silent Bob, and you it's all yeah. You're in that mall, and you're fighting like the security guard, and you're like it's all that, and it's and it's out on Switch now. So I didn't buy Streets of Rage. I I if I have time for one beat 'em up, I might have to go mall rat style. Because wow. Kevin Smith conquered movies, he can only conquer games. You know? Yeah. <laughs> this right, looks Johnny. like River City Ransom. Yeah, it really does, actually. Missed opportunity. It should have been 16-bit. No. I agree. That's no, too much. It, it, it really looks like River City Ransom. It looks pretty cool. Yeah. No, I actually did think it looked fun. Describe so, it to. It's like mall, yeah, mall brawl or Jane Silent Bob mall brawl or something Mall like brawl, that, so. yeah. I'm going to play that. Cool. I'll get Streets of Rage 4 and that. I'll let everyone know what's the better Snoogans. Hell yeah. Tight. So there you have hopefully, you know, Streets of Rage, I've heard has good gameplay, but hopefully the this mall game will have yeah. Kevin Smith dialogue. The dialogue There's no will weed. be better. There's no weed in um All right. Streets of Rage 4. We're over schedule, you guys. Yeah, we did we it. I was gonna work. go whole Animal Crossing thing again about how my fucking bells are only at 61, but I'm I'll save it. I'll save it. Not my bells. No, my turnips. It's every week, every day. It's 61 bells for yeah, a fucking Again, turnip. no time to talk about that. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There is no time for that at all. <laughs> Doesn't even know okay, what he's We have about. confirmed we are not talking about that. Okay. Like bells. Favor Sunday. Turn up. I mean, turn up, damn it, Garrett. <laughs> Fuck it. Forget it. End this turn shit. It. There is no time, whatever you uh, said. Oh, okay. Anyway. Okay. Whatever. Thanks anyway, watching, thank, you, thank you guys for watching. Come back this, uh, if you watch us on Twitch, come back this Sunday night, 6 p.m. Pacific for the Mega 64 podcast live. And we'll talk, we got a lot to talk about. That'll be here. You know, as always, we broadcast at twitch.tv slash Mega 64 podcast. And, uh, and then it goes up on YouTube. You know, this goes up on YouTube every Saturday. The Mega 64 podcast is up every Tuesday on YouTube. And then we got videos in between. Uh, all kinds of stuff always going up, especially there and on our Patreon. Patreon.com slash Mega 64. There's always new video stuff there. And there's going to be an onslaught in the next couple days. So keep an eye out. Um, yeah, anyway. and Movie Club is coming out real soon. That's the next yeah. thing you can tune into. And we, is that Love Guru? Is Love yeah, Guru. Yeah, Love Guru episode. Deep analysis of Love Guru. And we have been watching a lot of movies. So, uh, you know, put yeah. it on your schedule. There's going to be a lot of, a lot of you're, it's basically required viewing. A lot more to come. A lot more mandatory to come. Mandatory viewing yeah. on that. You got a lot of work ahead of you. Yeah, there's all kinds of fun stuff coming. And, uh, and then, uh, yeah, tonight I'm going to do a stream tonight, my future probe stream at 7 p.m. Pacific. I don't know what it's going to be. I shouldn't even plug it. I don't even know what I'm going to do, or maybe I won't even do it. But oh, fuck. Probably. You got to do I'm it. I'm going to plug it. I'll probably do it. Anyway, you'll do it. I'll get when there. When you get here, it. you'll do it. Anyway, Johnny's going to take us out with uh, some words. Uh, he's going to, he's yeah. got a speech prepared. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh,. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in to Mega 60 Quarantine. I did want to say uh, this is my year anniversary of working with Mega 64. Uh, thank you guys you so don't... much. Sorry, I'm not going to say it anymore. Anyway. Happy <laughs> anniversary. Yeah, maybe <laughs> next year I'll get paid, so we'll see what happens. Yeah. Good night. Not hopefully, likely. Hopefully you enjoyed that uh, supplantation. Uh, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Um, don't Kevin, don't include that.